Hello, I have a project where I need to glue some PETG pieces together and I wanted to find out uh, which glue I should use for that. So I've got four different glues that I had here. I've got some Weldon 16 uh, plastic glue. It's kind of a solvent type glue. I've got some super glue, um, cyanoacrylate, the typical stuff. I've got your basic JB Weld. And I've got the hot melt glue gun. And I've got some pieces of yellow PETG. I'm going to glue each of these together. I'm going to let them sit overnight, and then we will uh, we will see which one made a strong uh, bond. I just freshly printed these. I have not prepared them in any way. I haven't sanded them. I haven't cleaned them with alcohol, anything like that. I'm doing this kind of a worst case test with no surface prep. Okay, let's start with the acrylic glue. Put a generous quantity on. We'll apply the two surfaces together. Let's try to wipe off any excess. And apply the clamp. And then we will mark this one W16 for Weld On 16. Next up, let's do our super glue. Again, we will apply a generous amount. Make sure the whole surface is wetted. Now, super glue does set really fast. You've got to work quickly with it also instantly stick to your fingers and uh, we'll take a clamp and clamp it S G for super glue next up I'm gonna mix up some JB weld Try to get a fairly even amount of each component. We'll mix them up really well. JB Weld is always one of my favorites, but in the past I've found that plastic is about the worst thing to try to uh, glue with JB Weld. We'll see if that is the same with this PETG. So again, we'll make sure we put plenty of it on there. I've always heard with JB Weld that you should stick it and hold it together for a few seconds and pull it apart and then stick it again. So we will do that. Let's try to clean off the excess. goopy JB Weld mess going here, uh, but that looks about right, and then we will uh, clamp it. It's usually the way this goes for me, it's JB Weld all over everything, and then we will uh, clamp it. Let's try to make sure it's good and straight. One good thing about JB Weld is you have a pretty long uh, working time with it need to make sure something is on there straight you can kind of wait around a bit this one we will mark J B and set them aside finally we've got the hot melt glue which should be good and hot by now 
Um, hot melt glue often works very poorly for me. Uh, the advantage of hot melt glue is very easy, um, and it you know set it. It's very easy, and it sets up you know as quickly as it uh, can cool down. So there we've got our hot melt applied. Scrape off some of the excess. You know, it's already starting to set up. And we'll clamp it. Okay, and we will write on here H M for hot melt. Okay, these things have uh, been gluing all night. Uh, it's time to open them up and see if we can bust them apart. I don't have any kind of mechanical stress gauge or anything to do this, so I'm just going to try to pull them apart with my hand. Uh, this first one is JB Weld. JB Weld, it popped right apart. Um, there's pretty much zero penetration of the material at all there. Um, kind of as I expected. I didn't think it would react real well with the plastic. Let's try the hot melt glue. That's actually that's actually got a very strong bond. I'm surprised. <sighs> Okay, the hot melt glue. Um, I broke the filament before I broke the uh, the bond on the glue. That uh, that's surprising because I expected this would be probably the worst one. Yeah, the hot melt glue is uh, permanent. And the brand, I think these came from Amazon, was this Sure Bonder All Purpose Stick Mini Glue Sticks. Yeah, so, surprising result there. Cannot get that apart at all. Here is, uh, Cyanoacrylate super glue. Um, okay, that's another one where I broke the uh, filament before I broke the bond. Let's see if we can even pry it apart. Yeah, so the super glue um, it's made a strong bond. Now we'll try the uh, Weld On 16. Huh. The Weld On 16 uh, broke uh, one of the easiest of all. Uh, so that's uh, surprising. The Weld On 16, I thought this was going to be one of the stronger ones, and it turned out to be uh, one of the weaker ones. I think it was about on par with the uh, JB Weld. Uh, maybe even worse than the JB Weld. So the two clear winners uh, were the Super Glue and the Hot Melt. Uh, both of these I damaged the model before I broke the bond. The two clear losers were the JB Weld and the Weld On 16. Okay, now it's time to repeat the same experiment again with PLA this time. This is Amazon Basics Purple PLA. Again, I've not done any surface preparation at all. Let's start with the Weld On 16. Okay, so we've got all four of them prepped. We're going to let them sit 24 hours. Okay, it's been about 24 hours. Let's uh, try this out and uh, see uh, how these perform. So the first one is um, Hot Melt HM. And uh, 
hot melt did pop apart. Uh, so interestingly, it held on the uh, PETG, but on the uh, PLA, it popped loose fairly easily. Okay, next up, let's try the super glue. Cyanoacrylate super glue. Okay, that one I broke the uh, I broke the model before the bond came loose. Let's just try prying at it a little bit with a screwdriver. No, it's definitely uh, really stuck on there. The super glue is uh, certainly not going to come off. Um, this is the Weld On 16. Very strong bond there. <sighs> okay, so we broke the model before uh, the Weld On 16 came apart. So that's certainly that's holding together well on uh, PLA. And I cannot uh, cannot separate it with the screwdriver. Finally, we have the JB weld. Popped off, no resistance whatsoever. Uh, so the two losers for this one were the um, JB weld and the hot melt. The JB weld, again, was especially bad. Uh, the two winners uh, were the Weld On 16 and the uh, Super Glue. Okay, so here's a summary of the final results. So for PETG, the Hot Melt and the Super Glue uh, were good. Uh, for PLA, the Super Glue and the Weld On were good. Uh, the one that worked well across the board was the Cyanoacrylate Super Glue. So that's probably the one I'm going to use when something calls for uh, 3D printed parts to be glued together. So if you have tried out some glues on some 3D prints, please let me know what your results are. I'm curious if your results are the same as mine, if you tried uh, different um, glues, or if you had different results with these glues. In particular, uh, Weldon makes a number of different solvent weld um, adhesives, so there's Weldon 3 and 4. You know, maybe some people have tried those out. And I know that JB Weld also makes a number of different JB Weld products. You know, some of them might be better for uh, plastic. Um, and then I'm sure there's different kinds of hot melt and maybe even different kinds of super glues, the gel kind or the uh, really liquidy kind. So lots more data that we could collect on this to try to figure out what is the best glue to glue our 3D prints together. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sandrail stuff. Bye.